What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've seen the title of the video, you already know today I'm going to be talking about a modified oil pump for a 2JZ that you can purchase from Drift Motion. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. <laughs> So to start off, if you have an OEM 2JZ pump made by Toyota, you're perfectly fine if you've never opened up your engine and it's been running the way it has been with no oil pressure issues, you're fine. But once you start modifying the engine or you take it apart, you definitely want to replace the oil pump. Just like the water pump, it's one of those uh, components that uh, wears over time and uh, it could potentially fail. So you definitely want to get it replaced. Now. Stock OEM pump runs about 270, 280, depending where you get it. And the drift motion modified pump uh, runs for 369, so we're looking at uh, $90 difference. And uh, I'm gonna go over with you guys exactly what the differences are because, based on the description, it could be a little confusing. And they don't show you guys any pictures of what has been modified, so it could get confusing. Once you pick a modified 1JZ, 2JZ GTE oil pump on their website, you're going to see an icon that drops down and it will give you different options. It will give you the regular normal modified pump, then it will give you an NAT high RPM version for additional $12, and then the race version for additional $79. So. With the regular modified pump, the differences that they talk about, I'm gonna give you guys just a quick description instead of reading the whole paragraph. Uh, for one, they take this thing apart, so they have to replace these bolts. They put Allen bolts in here instead of the factory uh, Phillips heads. What that allows them to do is actually torque these things properly, equally all around, because behind this cover is a gear that spins and uh, it's very critical that it has a flat surface. So that's one of the things you notice right away on the outside. Then they put a sticker here, which uh, basically says that the pump has been modified. Um, obviously the sticker could fall off over time, so it's gonna be hard to, uh, to tell if this pump is modified, but you can definitely tell by the screws that it's been opened. The other thing they speak about on the description is that they have modified the oil relief valve that's in here. That's not something you can see, so that's something you have to trust after purchasing the pump. What that basically does is they shim the relief valve, which makes the tension a little harder, which allows the oil pump to create a little bit more oil pressure. Now, generally this oil pump, when it spins and the RPMs go up, the pressure could skyrocket. I mean, we I don't know the actual numbers, but it, it could go high. So every pump has a relief valve. Now these stock pumps, they run about, I'm not exactly sure about the numbers, but let's just say between 80 to 120 PSI. With this modification, the PSI's go up by about 10 PSI. So if this pump, let's say, is running at 100 PSI, this one's going to run at 110 PSI. A little bit more oil pressure is good, but not too much oil pressure. Too much oil pressure could actually kill your engine just as not enough oil pressure could. All right, so here we got an opened OEM oil pump and an opened drift motion modify oil pump and we're going to go over all the details of what has been done to this pump that's different from the OEM pump that you get from the dealer or just straight out of factory so if you look at very closely if I can zoom in here properly there is uh, there's like imperfections in the casting it's all aluminum it's no big deal when you're running a stock pump on a stock motor. Obviously, they've made these pumps to last 100 plus thousand miles in these engines without any issues. So you're okay with that. But if you're looking for better flow and overall more flow, then you'd have to get the modified pump, which let me get a good position here. 
as you guys could see, there's been some material shaved off right here. There's some more material shaved off there. And it kind of continues on right into here. Um, the, the corners here, the edges are shaved off so more volume of oil can get through it. In comparison to your stock one, you can see there's just sharp edges. Which would ultimately uh, restrict the flow just a little bit. Nothing major that you'd notice on your gauge, but as the RPMs go up, the oil flow obviously continues to rise and the engine requires more oil on high RPMs. The other thing I noticed is when you look at these sections here, this is where the oil comes in from the oil pickup and this is where the oil comes out. You can see that there's been, um, they've shaved off those corners to make them a lot smoother as comparison to the stock one. Sharp edges once again. The other thing we notice is the oil pressure relief valve. You can see how shiny it is. It's been polished in comparison to the stock one, which you can see all the rough, rough finish on it. What that's gonna cause is when it's polished like that, it has less friction against the housing, which means it goes up and down quicker. Now we're talking about like microseconds. So again, you won't really notice the difference, but the overall performance of this modified pump housing and the relief valve will definitely, definitely help the engine out with the oil pressure. The other option that drift motion is, uh, is given us here is NAT high RPM version 1199 more. This is the one that I got and the only difference between that and the regular modified pump is this relief port has been shaved out as well. It's a lot bigger in comparison to the stock one. What that does is uh, it relieves the oil pressure as the RPMs go up. So if you're running your 2J to 8000 RPMs or even higher, um, the pump continues to make oil pressure and eventually when it gets to high RPMs it creates too much pressure which is just as bad as not enough pressure because too much oil pressure in the engine could actually create some damage that will cause oil pressure loss. So you don't want that. Too much oil pressure is just as much as too little. So what they did is they, they modified the relief valve hole here and then they shaved this off a little bit. So more oil pressure can get out quicker once this pump goes up too high on the oil pressure because of the high RPMs. Again, this stock pump's great for stock RPMs, which is like 6,700 RPMs. Um, I've heard of guys using this up to 8,000 RPMs and they're okay, but we don't know the longevity and we really don't know what kind of damage they're doing on the long run to their engines. If you're running a stock engine, you're probably okay. Uh, you're going to have to rebuild it eventually anyways. If you're running a modified, fully built engine like me that you have a lot of money invested into, you just you don't want to take that risk. You don't want to use a stock pump. Go with the modified one. Get the relief valve ported. This way you know for sure when you're revving the RPMs up, you're not over pressurizing the engine and everything's flowing a lot better. So the third option that uh, Drift Motion's offering here is called their race version for additional $79. And the race version, if you look at the detailed description, it basically talks about uh, putting a dash 10 port on the oil pump area where, where the oil pressure comes back into the engine in here. They end up putting a dash 10 port in here and they cap off this area here so the oil no longer goes into the back into the block where the oil filter is. I'll show you right here. This is where that oil would be coming out through this oil port in the block into the oil filter. So what they're offering is dash 10 out here, block that off, which means you're gonna have to relocate your filter because your filter will no longer be getting oil through this oil pump. You're gonna get a dash 10 fitting coming out here. Something similar to this, it's not exactly the same. I bought this myself. 
comes out here and this will basically go straight into a dash 10 line which is actually a lot bigger volume the diameter inner diameter of a dash 10 is a lot bigger volume than this oil port in here which will ultimately allow you to hold more volume with more oil pressure what that means is you might have a high oil pressure but if the volumes this big versus this big you really don't have that much oil going through the engine so whenever something happens and you lose sudden oil pressure for a split second the volume is going to be a lot less which means will ultimately not lubricate your engine as well as running this dash 10 outlet so what they're offering us is a fitting dash 10 fitting that gets uh, that gets put into here they cap this off and then they give you a fitting dash 10 fitting that goes into your oil filter housing area so you can put your line going into the block where your oil will actually go up the engine and uh, lubricate the engine what I did as you can see I didn't get that version since this isn't capped off um, that's okay when I had the motor at the machine shop getting rebuilt I actually told them to cap it off on the block which is just as effective they put a cap here and they put a cap here so I just went that route that route that's okay you can totally go with the drift motion route and get the fittings from them and then they will cap this off for you now one thing you do have to know if you go with the race version if you are running an AC pump you will no longer be able to use it because the AC pump sits right here and this will just not work for you obviously if you're getting a race version you don't have an AC pump it's a race car we don't have AC in those so you're gonna be okay so one more thing I should mention is if you end up going with the drift motion uh, race version you're gonna be forced to running those dash 10 lines which means you're gonna have to more, more than likely be running an oil cooler and the oil uh, filter relocation kit now that's okay for any race car that's a necessity oil temperature is just as important as coolant temperature so that's definitely the route you should take if you are planning to leave your 2j stock you're not trying to add any coolers and you definitely want to leave the oil filter with the tiny little cooler it comes with in its location the race version is definitely not for you but the modified pump is definitely a positive thing to do for anybody better oil pressure better relief valve all that stuff works uh, very well with the engine which allows it to perform better and uh, the longevity of your bearings and the overall performance of the engine is better so I would definitely go with a modified pump the difference in the uh, price from an OEM to modified is roughly $100 um, their pump is actually on sale right now for $20 less so it's really just $70 seventy dollars or so difference um, to me that's worth it seventy dollars spent on a ten thousand dollar build I'm okay with that as long as it performs better so I hope this video helps you guys out the explanation of the differences and actually taking it apart and visually showing you guys I know for myself and for my own experience whenever I read the description on the website it doesn't necessarily explain things very well and I'm still scratching my head thinking if I should really spend that extra money or not um, in this case I'm just sharing this information with you guys because I couldn't find any other information other than the website description myself so I took it upon myself to order the pump take it apart and visually compare the two together so I have a better peace of mind and understanding of what I bought and how it'll actually help perform with my engine hope you guys liked the video I'll catch you guys later peace